This also shows I know this game a little too well. <laughs> All right, as you can tell by the music, we are back in the ruined castle corridor. Meaning we can visit our old friend Nina that, from Hakare Shrine all the way back to the beginning. Show off our pimp new gear, you know, our silk robe and all that. But we can also go up here and after checking up top, we can interact with Hammer. Lucky charm, let's see. What's that give us besides a nice tasty cereal? Lowers our defense by one, but increases our luck by two. We're going to take that. Because we can always grab armor to get defense. One dollar. Hey, Mina. Welcome back, Soma. Hey. What? That man over there. Who? You mean Hammer? His name's Hammer, huh? Don't you think he's a little scary? No, I think he's a decent guy. But look at all those weapons he has over there. He told me he was opening up his own shop. Here? He's opening a shop in the castle? He's weird. Yeah, it's pretty strange. If you say that he's a good guy, I believe you. That gives us a full heal and... Here's Hammer. Howdy there, you came. Is this where you've, is this where you've opened your shop? Yes, yes it is. By the way, that cute young lady over there. She's staring at you. Is she your friend? Yeah. Whoa, I had no idea you were so popular with the ladies. Hey, it's not like that. Don't be shy, shy now, you hear. It's good to be young. It's a good thing. Hammer, you're 35. Don't act like you're 60 or 70 years old. Come on, man. <laughs> Alrighty, back to business. Take a look around, friend. Jesus. Hammer, the the mentally old man over here, needs to realize he's not as old as he thinks he is. <laughs> man, we really didn't get any doubles to sell. All right. First thing we're going to buy, Castle Map 2. And let's see. We could buy the Combat Knife. Combat Knife is really good. Really fast. And the base lord, that's something that the... Okay, the base lord right here. This is the weapon that the... Zombies could have dropped early. That would have been really nice because we would have had 38 damage the entire way through. But it's a low drop from the zombies. Alright, let's see. What do we want? We could grab the Gladius. Gladius is nice. Same with the Scimitar. Or the Katana. I think first we should probably grab the War Fatigues. Because that's some good armor. Which means we cannot buy the Gladius. And we buy... We can buy the combat knife. We can buy the combat knife. All right, so we're getting a Kniffy. We're getting a combat Kniffy. And better armor. So we're going to equip the War Fatigues. It lowers our intelligence a little bit, but it's fine. And let's equip our combat knife. There it is. Pro about the combat knife? Look how quickly you attack. It may have a short range, but my god, it does its job. Like that. <laughs> All right. But yes, this game right here, a lot of fun, as you can probably tell. I'm still enjoying it, having a good time. That weapon right there, that is a good weapon. We will not be able to get that until near the end of the game. And for good reason. And for good reason, because that weapon is overpowered. Alright. I believe there's a weapon over here. Kestis. Alright. Kestis is weaker than what we have. So we're going to be using the combat knife still after this, but I'll show it off a little bit, because... It's a, it's a fist weapon. So it's the weapon you want to use for when you want to punch a demon in the junk. Which, honestly, who doesn't want to punch a demon in the junk? I mean, bam, 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 bam. Now, it's decent enough, but we're going to stick with our combat kniffy. Combat kniffy all the way.
Alright. Now, as you can tell, we don't really have anywhere we can go from me. Up, from up there. So, what we do? We check our map. And you can see now that there's a completely new area just right here near the beginning. Right here in the beginning that we didn't go to before. We're going to remedy that now that we have our double jump. After killing a few zombies along the way. Because I would like to get their soul as well. I'd like to get every soul in the game, but... Let's be honest, that's not in the cards. <laughs> we may be playing a Konami game, but this one does not have the heart of the cards in it. This one is the heart of the daemon. Oh right, there's a save point here. We should probably use it. Oh, I completely forgot about something. Okay, folks, folks, folks. You want to see something that you can't unsee after I show it to you? When you hold up to do your special attack, your bullet soul attack, Soma has a smiley face on his pants. Now you will never be able to unsee it. <laughs> All right. And here we were using a bunch of sword, a ray of fear and a bunch of swords to fight these things. All we needed was a combat kniffy. Combat kniffy to take care of these and can't take care of those axe armors. Oh, and I see another weapon coming up that might actually end up being a weapon we use for a while because of its range and high damage output. That's the way we need to go. Let's go over this way. The Lance. The Lance does a lot of damage. Only downside. It's extremely slow. But let me at least show off what kind of damage it does with a single hit. Let me at least do that. Yeah, it does a lot of damage, because that Siren would have taken two or three hits from our combat Kniffy. Oh! It's facing the wrong way. That's the problem with it being slow. Once you're decade to an attack in certain direction, you cannot turn around. And if you're doing it the wrong way, you're going to get hit, you know? <laughs> Just making me remember how fun it is in difficult places. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Kirby, exactly. Oh man. No breakable wall. No wall chicken. Time for the dance hall. And now we meet, I think, our last NPC of the game. Strange. I sense a dark power within you. Who are you? It's rude to ask questions before introducing yourself. Yes, you're right. I can't give you my name, but people call me Jay. People call you Jay? Why hide your real name? Are you a criminal? No, I have amnesia. I'm told that I was in an accident in 1999. When I woke up in this hospital, I've forgotten my name and my past. Oh, I see. Well, my name's Soma. Your dark power. Were you born with it? I don't really know. I first noticed it when I entered this castle. I see. I guess I was mistaken. Mr. J, why have you come to this castle? I can't read that without hearing Harley Quinn's Mr. J. <laughs> Why have you come to this castle? Call me Jay. I'm filled with fear when I hear the name Dracula. I came here because of the prophecy. I also thought that my memory might return. In fact, since my arrival, I felt like my memory is returning. And your accident occurred in 1999? Maybe Dracula was involved. I fear you are correct. Especially since I have magical powers. Jay, are you an exorcist? Well, you might say that. But I work for no one but myself. I must be going now. I'm sure we'll meet again. Yes, see ya. 
Jay is by far one of my favorite characters. And anyone who's played this game will know why. We'll know why, but for those who haven't, I'm going to keep it quiet for now. Also, as you may see, there's an item up there that we cannot get. It's too short for us to reach. Very interesting, if you ask me. But, it is what it is. And, oh, here's another thing that, ha that goes with these Metroidvania-like titles that a lot of people tend to not know before they go into them. Former bosses become enemies later on. They become common mooks. So be be ready for that if you ever play a Metroidvania. Ow. Oh, hey! Jumping away taking damage restores health. That is a lie. That is a lie. You see, pretty much what this does is... It's a mistranslation. What it is, is whenever you're in midair and you get hit with an attack, you won't suffer knockback. That's what it is. So, that right there makes the soul seem a lot better than it is, but... Honestly, the soul is sort of trash. Hey, at least now y'all know. Not to bother with that soul. Okay, I'm actually gonna switch back to the combat kniffy. I had more fun with the combat, Kniffy. I see you there. Get out of here, Winged Skeleton. We don't want none of your Girl Scout cookies. Don't get any Thin Mints. No breakable wall. Yeah, as you can see, we're able to take down things a lot more frequently now. And the Comet Kniffy just, it does a great job. It does a real great job, especially once you have its range memorized. I believe the... Right, we came down here only for $500. Right, right. But, uh, yeah. What was I saying? I think Streamer Brain just hit. Ow. Curse you, Wimp Skeleton. Curse you all to hell. Oh, wait, that's where you're from. You wouldn't mind it there, would you? Alright, yeah. Combat Kniffy is much better. Combat Kniffy is much better. I want the Creaking Skull's soul. It's a nice soul to have, purely f not just because it's powerful, but because the entertainment value that I get from it. I'm going to kill the Creaking Skull maybe two more times, see if I can get its soul. It's not likely, but we're going to try. One more try. If we don't get it this time, well, tough luck. Ah, I was too close. That was far enough back. That was my bad. Now we got a level up off of it, so it's not all is lost. That's okay. But yeah, the Creaking Skull is a great soul. Hopefully I'll be able to show it off before we finish our playthrough. But just in case, it's doesn't happen, I will probably showcase what it looks like later on by farming it. You know, post-game. Post-game. Picked up food house game. Game is going just fine. It's still being stingy with, with giving us soul drops and item drops, stuff like that. But game is going fine. How's the food? Alright, we don't want to get short video out of here. Okay, so we just Bob Barkered that evil butcher. Uh, you know what? It had it coming. It was an evil butcher. Oh, yeah, chicken nuggets. Nice. Can't go wrong with those. Chicken's always good. Okay. 
So what we've been saying to the enemies here, you know, with the combat Kniffy, I, I thought it was the Bob. I thought we were giving them the Bob Barker treatment. No, we've been saying Lorena Bobbit time. Oh, you're picking up a webcam. You might pick up a webcam for VTubing tonight. Nice. All right, now we have this boss, a big golem, as its name set as is its name say. It is, in fact, a big golem. It's not a hard boss. It's actually very easy. Just use your abilities on its head. Actually, you know what? We're going to switch our soul to... Uh, skeleton. Get multiple hits in there. Oh, okay. Okay, maybe the normal skeleton was a bad idea. Let's go with the winged skeleton again, because this soul is just all around good. This lingering damage. Ow. Okay, it doesn't do lingering damage against this guy. All right. Well, that combat Kniffy does really well. There we go. Boss down. Renest time to help, of course. Ah, I see. Ah, we, enemy wasn't there. But we did get Skeleton Blaze. We can now slide by pressing down and A. That was the la next ability we were after here. There it is, Suchinoko. Suchinoko. I can't hit it. I can't hit it. No. Yes! We got it! We got the Suchinoko without having used the Chrono Mage! <laughs> Perfect! Allows you to buy goods at cheaper prices. Oh, normally you need the Chrono Mage to do that because it takes so many hits to kill. I just got very lucky and it didn't burrow before I could get that last hit in there. Suchinoko is a very useful soul for especially one item later on. And I'll showcase what it is to you all once we get to that point. But for now... Let's just be happy we got it. Now, we are still going to want to pick up as much money as we can while playing. Because, uh, you know, just a, just a good idea. Just a good idea. Yep, Sushinoko. So I got Doom Sparse. Exactly. Exactly. Ooh, but yeah, I'm very surprised that we got the Suchinoko on our first time seeing it pop out of its hole. That is very, very lucky. So I can no longer complain about not getting those other souls that I wanted. I can no longer complain. Because the Suchinoko soul is by far more important. Oh, uh, honestly, v 2 actually isn't as difficult as... People make it seem it's actually really easy. Oh no. Ah, I didn't get the soul. Alright. Thought I'd just give this one more shot while we were heading up. But yeah, I, I could help teach some of that too if you wanted. Because it's actually fairly easy to set up. You just need a. Uh, you don't even need a high. You don't even need a 1080p webcam. All you need is a 720p one. A after that. If you have a model that's a VRM style model, VC face, completely free. And that's all you'll need. Oh god. Right, the Quizzical will go in a bit of a pattern here. Ancient Belt. Belt that lends its wearer a positive attitude. What can I say about Hishin? Or Henshin. I don't know how it's pronounced. I've not watched Kamen Rider, but at least I know where it's from. 